Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Uh, while presidents and their spouses receive Secret Service protection for life, and children of presidents receive it up through age 16 after the president's left office, uh, vice presidents were only afforded those same protections for six months after leaving office. Now, normally that was never considered too much of a concern, except that the January 6th the riot and insurrection against the Capitol building featured protesters chanting, Hang Mike Pence, because Pence was slated to certify Donald Trump's electoral college loss inside the Capitol building, which uh, he ultimately did. Uh, Pence has also attracted ire of many Trump supporters for attending Joe Biden's inauguration, even as Trump himself refused to. So the Protecting Vice Presidents Act would grant Secret Service protection to former vice presidents and their spouses for life, as well as the children of former vice presidents up through age 16, just as presidents' families receive. It was introduced in the House by California Representative Norma Torres. Now, supporters argue that just as vice presidents and their families have consistently seen their Secret Service protection level upgraded through the decades to match the president's level, uh, the same thing should happen again here. But uh, opponents counter that the bill may be expensive and unnecessary. After all, there have only been two vice presidential assassination attempts in American history on Andrew Johnson in 1865 and Thomas Marshall in 1915, neither of which were successful. And both of those men held the vice presidency at the time, meaning there has never been a single assassination attempt on a former vice president. Well, it's time for me to eliminate the vice. Uh, you know, uh, playing, playing cards are a vice. Yeah, I, I, bet, I better eliminate these.